The holiday of New Year's Eve and New Year's Day is a celebration for surviving another year, both in our tragic modern sense and literally surviving another year as the ancient Mesopotamians are thought to have done. We also make resolutions, set off fireworks, and kiss each other at the stroke of midnight. But where does it all come from? Why do we celebrate it on January 1st? I mean, of course it's the first day of the new year, but why is it the first day? Why not, say, March 25th or any other day? Well, all you have to do is simply not stop this video, and I'll tell you everything you need to know about New Year's. Now back in the old days, I'm talking like Roman Empire here, March was the start of the new year. But then Julius Caesar came along and said, hey, this is stupid. Ten months are stupid. Why do we have months that cycle with the moon, but a year that cycles with the sun? This puts everything out of whack. You know what? I'm going to change it. So he divided the year into the 12 months we know today and put January 1st as the start. But we all know that song in Collapse. After the Roman Empire, everyone pretty much played fast and loose with dates until Pope Gregory the X I I I -th came along and introduced the Gregorian calendar in 1582. Pope Greg basically whipped everyone into shape about what date it was and also deleted 10 days from the calendar to get Easter closer to where it's supposed to be. This system was adopted by most Christians but looked like some Catholic propaganda to some Protestant countries, which means if you go back to things dated before the mid 1700s, things get pretty weird. Anyways, in order to figure out the current year, Pope Greggy used the math of an earlier monk named Dionysius Exigus, 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 who was almost certainly wrong. He calculated years from the birthday of Jesus, whose birth was basically guessed at from the year Rome was founded, which was the basis of the previous calendar. Modern historians guess that he was off by about five years, which is fine in most situations, but pretty bad when you're calculating the birth of Jesus in order to establish a Christianized calendar system for billions of people to use in the future. So there you go. The reason it's on January 1st is a coincidence. The reason January 1st is tomorrow is because Julius wasn't quite right and time is relative, so we can just fix it. And the reason it's going to be 2019 is because Dionysius was a bad guesser. Other traditions for New Year's are coincidental too. Baby New Year is basic symbolism for new life. Fireworks are set off to ward away evil spirits, so nothing specific to New Year's. Resolutions set for the coming year are an optimistic psychological effect of all the New Year's symbolism floating around. And kissing at midnight is a last ditch effort to get with that person who's been avoiding mistletoe around you for the last month, but basically boils down to a When Harry Met Sally reference. New Year's is a time to reflect on the past and plan for the future. The past turns out to be a series of coincidences that all happen to make New Year's a worldwide holiday, and the future doesn't exist. Even though this kind of turned out to be a dud of a holiday to start this new series off on, let's be optimistic and say my New Year's resolution is to make one of these per month so that we can learn about each month's major holiday. And you can help me do that by getting me to my first goal on Patreon. So guys, my first goal is $100, and at that point, I will be able to take this a little more seriously and make at least one video a month. If you follow me closely, you'll notice that the last six Six months have been pretty desolate as far as videos come, but with that hundred dollar incentive hanging over my head, I will be able to make more good quality content. I've noticed that the How Lewd series that Buddy and I did has been kind of picking up recently, and if you guys are here for that, you know, I could hook back up with him and make another set of those videos. I mean, Negligee 2 is out, I believe, now, and it's not like there's a shortage of those kinds of games. So just check out my Patreon, and if you donate, you can be like Debbie Williams, who is one of my $5 donors. The $5 tier makes her my dude, so she gets her name listed at the end of the videos, and she also gets this personal shout out at the end of one of my videos. So thank you so much, Debbie. Guys, Debbie is my aunt, my Aunt Debbie. I love her so much and she loves me enough to donate $5 a month. And I could love you maybe just as much if you help contribute to these videos. All right guys, I'm gonna stop begging. Feel free to enjoy another video and have a good 2019.